My word is Hatte Sorensen, and that means uh, hello, my friend. I got it from my grandparents, I guess. I've heard it a few times, but I haven't really caught any other native language, so that's pretty much all I know. Bannock! I would have said something in my native tongue, but throughout my whole life, I have never learned anything culturally or spiritually, and I think it's a really sad thing. I wouldn't mind learning, but I never did. So I had to say Bannock. Spoutin. Uh, that means uh, asshole in shoe swap. It, uh, it is a story that goes along with it about my dad who'd met this guy and his last name was, I don't know, something like, a, like say, Spunny or something like that. And he got it wrong and thought his last name was Spoutin. And he went home to my great-grandfather and was telling him all about this guy he met who was his cousin. He said, Dad, I met one of my cousins. His name is Larry Spoutin. And my great-grandfather just started laughing. And uh, my dad got kind of mad and was like, what are you laughing about? And my great-grandfather was like, well, Spoutin means asshole. So that's my word. And my dad was pretty embarrassed. Machesco Cesis. Um, this is uh, my native name that my great-grandmother gave me. And I uh, got to go to her 100th birthday last summer. So it's a really important name for me. It means little swallow in Cree. Maya uh, Hila. That word means to take good care of something or someone. And when people define Maya Hila, they tend to define it as respect. I mean, if you know your language, you just have a better idea of who you are. Mahikan. In my language, it means wolf. Mm, to me, wolf is a very strong person, strong animal, strong spirit. Can, does well on his own, knows how to survive, knows how to take care of himself. But once he becomes a part of a team, a pack, he, he brings that pack to, like, to be great. The pack becomes great, he becomes great. He really excels as a, as a team player. And I see myself as a very good team player. And yes, and that's what wolf means to me. You know, I sing, you know, I have like, um, I've had a song that, that's come to me through the sweat lodge, you know, and I call it the healing song, you know, it's a personal song. I use it when, based, when I'm mourning, you know, when I'm, you know, when I feel sad, you know, it's like, you know, sort of like looking out the window, sort of lost. If you go to a powwow and you notice that most girls have their skin showing and just their head showing, right? Because you're supposed to be very modest. And that's not being modest at all. That's just trying to be like a, trying to use the native image as a sexy kind of like a savage kind of thing, you know? And that, that, that ain't very respectful in, in a way. And uh, I don't think the Eskimos would like that. Maybe the, maybe they think of like mockery or something. Yeah. Kind of like mocking the, our, our culture. And, that ain't, well, I don't, personally, I don't like it, and I think it's very
Okay. A wash in beads and bold designs, fringe and fur fashion clearly has gone native. Native American, that is. Putting aside for a moment the chaos of all those feather headdresses and embroidered ponchos we'll be causing in the coat rooms of trendy restaurants. Mine's the one with the moose applique. There are some pretty naughty PC issues at stake. Oh, it don't matter if my hair's all messed up. I'm just an Indian anyway. Chum. Bannock. Nature moose. Yeah, yeah. Cook them. Same thing. Musquat. Cooks jump. Bananas. 